I would have loved to play Rage Forest, but there are certain things that are more important than Rage Forest. Believe it or not, I know you're crazy, but there is. I'm good, Salt Lives. How about you? HGBAOE. Britons. I think Britons on this map is not too shabby. Uh, I think we go skirms probably. I think skirms on this map is kind of go to. What I don't like about this map is sometimes you have a lumber camp spawning, then it's only. It's essentially only one tree. I do not like that. That was a preemptive pull. Okay, let's go there then, since he did range openings. Oh, he's trying to quick gate me. He's still on gold, so maybe we just end up in a situation where I have full skirm and he has full archers. Okay, second range. Ooh, we got a hit. Bug. Yeah, he's going archers. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. It's like borderline GG territory already. Just from the nature of this opening. Oh, I've done a bad job keeping production going though. In a tower. Fisk! Fish in Norwegian. Gotta love that. Whoa! This is what I mean when I said that I've done a bad job of keeping villager production going. I mean, this villager will die. Build! The follow-up after the opening has been horrible by me, but because I just haven't been producing units, and now I'm completely off of wood. So, yeah, follow-up has been very bad. Four than GG. Oh, I didn't even finish the mill. I know. Call an ambulance, but not for me. He's still making archers though, which is a mistake if you ask me. Maybe it isn't. It should be though. See, I clicked this villager here and the, it pathed down. Why would it path down? It makes no sense. It doesn't care. Oh! I still think it's borderline GG for him. <laughs> Even here as well, the, the villager pathing through the forest here would also be so much nicer. With a little bit less collision size. Pulling the vills! He's just going counterattack. What a mad lad. 
He literally released as I'm coming in to kill his base. He released to go counterattack. That's crazy. Uh, towers and counterattack, I see. He's busy microing there. I don't care. Spend the stone. There's a market as well. It's kind of weird as well. You just suddenly end up with enough food to go cast late as well. It's a weird map in many ways. I have too much of units chasing him around, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> nice. Losing too many bills probably, but he has lost plenty as well. I don't think he's on the way to cast it, although I could be very wrong about that. And another big thing is he has lost all his army, so I'm sure he has killed probably more wills than I've killed from him, but he has no army left. I have a lot of army left. Should be his only wood line. Do we need more farmers? I don't think so. It's been kind of a throwaway army to try and kill Vils. It, it could work if you had like a faster cast ledge than the Shiramsha Rider tech switch, for example. But I'm just gonna hit cast ledge faster with a lot more army than him as well. And I'm Britons. So I'll get range as well. Just being like he's just like sneaking archers everywhere and trying to trying to uh oh he hit the same time. And trying to get damage. Let's go in there. Nice. But not nice enough. Oh. I don't see a stay. Oh, he has, oh, he has two stables. Never mind. I wasted one stone. I cannot build. Uh, oh, I lost the whole army. Oops. I wasted one stone. I cannot build town centers now. Maybe Britons are a pretty good pick on this map. Yeah, maybe we have an S tier. Not S tier. Maybe we have a map where Britons would actually be pretty good. Do a market. Yeah, if we do a TC here as well, we're just so safe. And then the Shiram Shredders can't do anything either. I guess the gold is not safe. Let's do that. We camp our gold with our archers. We can even do this. Cover all our weak angles. That's fine. Oh, he had arches as well. Could have been dangerous. We will be fine, but it could have been dangerous. Shoot the archers. The Shiramsha tank. It is definitely a closer game than I was expecting it to be. After the opening. I did, I did take some serious damage. It was not that shocking. 
<laughs> we have four TCs now though. Not sure how he will punish that. Although Britain is not the best unit. I mean, long crossbow is maybe not the best unit against uh, Shiram Shirai and Gujaras. Long term, anyway. Uh, but yeah, once we get ballistics, it's gonna help a lot in making sure we take less damage. Uh, we get more damage in on these units. Just need some farms as well, or horse colors so I can do some farming. But yeah, Shivamsha and their mobility can definitely be dangerous on this map. Ain't no question about that. Ah, it's too late. I was trying to trap him. Well, he's kind of messing up though. Wonder if he added Townsend himself. We'll find out very soon. As I said, ballistics alone, when I have four TCs spread out like this, ballistics alone kind of shuts down any plans he has of aggression. And I do not expect him to have like a, a tech switch up his sleeve where he's getting ready to tech switch into skirms or something else that can be a threat. At least I don't think so. The weird part is that me moving out is probably the only way I can lose the game. <laughs> and here we are. Let's give him an escape path on this side. Never mind, he went the other way. Elephant! Wait, that's a lot of elephants! There's so many of them! So many elephants! Yet not enough. That also further shows that he's one teasing this. Ouch. That is someone who is desperate for damage. And GG shall be called. At this point you're bullying the poor guy. He's bullying himself by staying in the game. I ain't bullying no one. GG. Yeah, this map can easily get out of control very, very fast. Uh, with, but I think Archer opening on this map, while it seems natural, I think that's going to be absolutely not the matter. If anything, I think people might start playing around with mind games, trying to open with stable, for example, to jump on the scout opening, for example. Humans on this map, I think, can be pretty good because you can drop two ranges right away. Dravidians, yeah, should be good on this map. Obviously, Franks, Portuguese can also be pretty good if you go out and use the berries. Maybe this is the map for Mongols. You go out and use the hunt on the sides. Um, Britain's obviously really good here as well. But if you open archers, you have to run away from skirms to opening and then switch to scouts. Also, hunts, I think, is amazing on this map. Just like Gallus? Uh... You know what? Gallus can probably do some work on this map. I have to check how consistently the gold spawns next to the water. I think from what I recall, it's been fairly consistent. 
Vikings, eh? Maybe Vikings. Play longboats as the game goes on. Yeah, demo ships as well. Oh, maybe, maybe. 